Hi, I'm Dr. Nagarjayan, urologist, andrologist and genital neurosurgeon. I have more than 25 years of experience in urology. I'm practicing at Happy Healthy Hospital in Bangalore. The bedwetting means it's a passing urine in the night during sleep without one's knowledge. It's called bedwetting. Normally, we medically we call it as nocturnal analysis. See, majority of the times it uh, happens in the childhood. It could be hereditary. That means, suppose patients, parents have bedwetting, it can continue in the children. Or sometimes faulty bladder training, like at the age of 2-3 years of the child, bladder training is fault, they can have. Organic causes are, suppose child is having any neurological causes, spine problems, they can develop or any infections, they can develop incontinence of urine. And other majority common cause is, see, these young adults, they will be very busy or they will be playing and all. As soon as bladder fills, they don't pass urine and then they don't get up in the sleep to go and pass urine, they feel lazy. That can cause sometimes aneurysis, that is, night without passing urine without his knowledge. That we can, as you say, lazy bladder. So, whenever we do find out why the is happening by doing simple like urine test, ultrasound of the kidney, ureter and bladder, and the X-ray LS spine, that is spinal cord X-ray we take to find out any congenital, that is birth defect of the spinal column is there, wherein the nerves get stuck and patient will have this nocturnal incontinence. So once we find out that, then there are some, first we will advise lifestyle changes to the patient or child over it may be. Daytime, they should control their urine as far as possible with some medications. At night, we ask them to avoid any fluid intake after say 7 p.m. Then, if possible, before going to bed, make him pass once urine. In between, if possible, ask the parents to make him pass in once or twice. And so, even if it's not responding, then we make put some alarm and uh, wake up the child and make him to pass urine. These are the some of the preventive measures. If it is still not possible, there are medications available. They decrease the urinary output during night, so that. I will give tablets at around 7 p.m. and ask the patient not to take any liquids after 7 p.m. So, these are simple methods available. Actually, there are no serious diseases causing this. Now, all are simple like lifestyle modifications, with some alterations in their habits, you can control it. Thank you.